What's happening? This your boy Lil Peep, man. DSGB. Shout out to Dumb Eye TV. Y'all know how we rocking. Yeah. What it is, what it ain't. I'ma let y'all know what I really think. This your boy Go Mouth Short, and I'ma get straight down to business. I need everybody to go smash that like button, man. Smash that subscribe button, man. And comment on the channel. And if you really mess with me, man, go ahead and donate a dollar to my cash app. Uh, mag promo m-a-g-p-r-o-m-o -O. and i'm gonna keep bringing you some quality content all i do is bring you the latest and the greatest news and information you know i gotta put the disclaimer out because everything for education and purposes only and entertainment but i ain't gonna hold you up too much longer let me go ahead and play y'all some new content pop up out of Whitehaven. Uh, we have learned that there is a heavy police presence uh, in that area right now. We have also had independent uh, sources confirm that Gangsta Boo has died at the age of 43. What we do not know at this time is whether the two situations are related. That scene in Whitehaven as well as the death of Gangsta Boo. Now, as I said, a heavy police presence right now in Whitehaven. Uh, we want to get you back out to our reporter, Jack Billu. He has been live on the scene gathering details. Jack, what do we know at this hour? Well, about 20 minutes ago, uh, we saw a van with whited out windows pull up. They loaded a body into the back and it took off. In fact, if I step out of the way, you can actually still see right in the front of that police car. They've taken down the tape there in front of the driveway. That porch up that driveway is where they removed that body from. And we spoke to some people who said they were families of the victims. They said they didn't want uh, to discuss the case at this time, but shortly after that body was removed, they invited about half a dozen of those folks inside the house, and they uh, are still in there at the moment. As you can see, Still police cars lining the street in front of the house going both directions. This is on Rains, uh, right between Grace Methodist Church and the Whitehaven Public Library. We've been out here since just before 5 o'clock, and the scene has stayed equally busy. One thing that we have seen change, there was a crime scene van here earlier. that since pulled away. Same with the forensics truck. Uh, Scene still very active, still plenty of police officers out there, and still a crowd of people gathered uh, to my left watching this whole investigation unfold. Daniel? I know uh, you mentioned that uh, you spoke with some people who say that they are family. Tell me this, how many people are you seeing out there? Is it, uh, you said that there was a group of people. Are a lot of people out there? What, what are you seeing? Uh, as of a few minutes ago, there was a group of about, uh, I would say, 30 people standing on the driveway watching. Since the family was invited inside, that group has kind of cleared out. People have moved back to the church parking lot next to the scene. Some people are standing next to their cars. Uh, I would say there's still about uh, half a dozen people standing on the neighboring property. And then even here on the other side of the street where we are, there are some people parking, standing outside their car and just kind of watching this situation. We've seen a lot of people doing uh, Facebook lives out here today, that kind of thing. You know, and when they removed the body, those family members did request that people uh, turn their phones off. Jack Bilyeu, uh, of course, on the scene there in Whitehaven. Of course, we want to just um, reemphasize that we have two different things going on. We don't know just yet whether they are connected. We have the death of Gangsta Boo, a member of 3-6 Mafia, the uh, second woman to uh, be in that group of 3-6 Mafia. We also have that police scene in Whitehaven, that heavy police scene. We're working to confirm po with police right now whether they are connected. Jack Bilyeu, good job out there in uh, Whitehaven. Jack, thanks.